Hips, hips, hips. Good. Let's go. Welcome back ITD family. This is exercise two of the vertical jump series. And in this exercise, we're gonna be working on one of my favorite jumping exercises out there called the depth jumps. Depth jumps are an exercise that is scientifically proven to help your vertical jump. Now for depth jumps, you're gonna need a small box that is about 12 inches high or maybe even any sort of platform where it is 12 inches off the ground. Once you find a platform or a box that is suitable for you, you're gonna to want to step onto that box. From there, you're gonna take one of your feet and hover it forward. Now, one big mistake that people often make from this point is they tend to step down off the box rather than hovering their feet forward. You want to be able to hover your feet forward and allow your body to drop and hit the ground versus step towards the ground. Now, as you're coming off the box, our goal with dev jumps is for our body to absorb all that force and put it back up into a vertical motion in the shortest amount of time possible. By minimizing that time on the floor, you'll be able to create a much more stronger and aggressive triple extension. Now, as you're setting up this exercise, what I personally used to do is set up the box close to something that is challenging for me to be able to touch. So when I did drop off the box, I would sometimes have the rim there or maybe a light or something that held me accountable that forced me to really drive into that triple extension and really minimize that time on the ground. Now, by having this target, it is super beneficial because for me, when I had the rim, for example, I would jump off the box and if I didn't get off the ground right away, I wasn't nearly as close to touching the rim as I wanted to. To. And when I did have a shorter amount of time off the ground and really popped back up, that's when I noticed that my depth jump was at its maximum potential and that was the quality of rep that I was looking for every single time. Quality is huge when it comes to these reps. So when you are performing these, we wanna be able to do four sets of eight to 10 explosive repetitions. Now, if you are doing your first set, for example, and you're on your second or third rep, it's totally cool to take 10 to 15 seconds in between your reps to make sure that your heart rate isn't too high and you're really targeting that fast switch fiber muscle like I've always talked about and not your endurance. This is hands down one of my favorite vertical jump exercises. Now, during this whole quarantine, I've actually been fasting as well. So I've really had a very limited time frame when it comes to eating, but despite that, I've been trying to really fuel my body so then I am able to do my workouts that I have been doing with my buddy Kenny and KB at their house. Now, being at their house, they have a nine foot ceiling and we've really been experimenting with depth jumps a lot. One of my goals turned out to be that I want to get my head off of their ceiling. Me being 5'10 and their ceiling being nine feet tall, that's about 38 inches of difference. But what I've really noticed is the pop that you're able to get from depth jumps is ridiculous. So if you guys need any motivation towards trying this exercise out, check out this video. And that is the end of the video. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you guys have any questions for me, hit me up in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe because that does help me out a ton as well. But until then, keep training in the dark so you can shine in the light.